The EU gave the French government permission Monday to help temporarily save carmaker Peugeot. CNBC Europe explains the government will back bonds to bail out a bank attached to the carmaker, which has seen falling sales in a depressed European car market. The EU has temporarily approved, this is just this news just out, temporarily approved French aid to Peugeot Citroën Bank. Uh, in other words, approving aid to the in-house finance arm of the struggling French uh, automaker Peugeot. Europolitics explains the relationship between that finance arm, Bank PSA Finance, and its owner, PSA Peugeot Citroën. BPF is a captive bank in that it finances only the commercial activities of PSA Group, Europe's second largest automotive group. BPF provides credit to buyers of cars manufactured by PSA and to its dealers. Because of that connection, the Telegraph reports the bank is feeling the hurt in the European economy. Global sales by France's biggest automotive company and Europe's second biggest dropped 16 percent last year to below 3 million units as the carmaker fell victim to slumping demand in Europe where the company makes about 60 percent of its turnover. Given its size, the French government announced a rescue plan for BPF in October of last year. Now the government will back 1.2 billion euros, that's about $1.6 billion worth of new bonds to finance BPF. But it needed the European Union's permission to do so, and this thumbs up is temporary. A European Commission spokesman told Euronews, we expect France to notify us of a restructuring plan, not just for the banking arm, but for the whole PSA group, because this aid also benefits the whole group. France has to get that plan to the Commission in the next six months. The Commission would then review it and make a final decision on the aid. Bloomberg explains there are still other rescue options available. They continue to track this story. The French papers full over the weekend of whether or not the, uh, the French government would ultimately end up having to step in and buy a chunk of this business. Uh, that story still not off the table and still very much ongoing. It's not clear how deeply the company will have to restructure to gain further EU approval, but the struggling carmaker is already cutting 8,000 jobs and closing a major assembly plant. For Newsia, Megan Murphy.